Hi, Pat Lawless back again. I hope everyone had a wonderful Christmas. I had a lovely one. And I hope 2022 will be a fantastic year for everyone. So I wish you all a happy new year. This time next year, I will be, after sailing up into Stormy Bay and stopping up near Hobart for our 90 minute media stop in the Golden Globe race. And when I dream about the race at the moment, and I still dream at 65, I'm usually doing well in the race, if not winning. So it's lovely. When I was young, I dreamed about sailing the Atlantic and sailing around the world. I didn't think there was a chance in a million I would make it. And here I am now, at my age, still dreaming. I have one of the best boats in the race, so well equipped, so I do believe that I have a good chance. I will miss my lovely family that I have here. The wildlife in the Southern Ocean will, will make up for that, I think. The whales, the albatross, all the different animals and species, mother nature, the sea, the ocean. You know, it's, it's a spectacular place. For the last three years, I have been doing virtual races with OpenCPN on my laptop and Windy TY. And this is helping me to visualize what is needed in the preparation of the boat. You know, you, you can imagine being in those conditions and the swell, the seas, the storms, the calms, using spinnakers and not using spinnakers and pulling out jibs. You, in your mind, you can picture the weather that's there and you know where you are in your virtual race. So this visualization is really helping me to prepare my boat, to know what is needed. And I, th I think it's, it's all good anyway. It helps with what equipment, your sails, your food, your tools, everything that's needed. And even better than Captain Coconut is 10 days ahead of me. At the moment, in real life, I'm only in a virtual race. So he's sailing back to the Sabbath to land for the start of the race and doing the second half of his 2018 race. So he'll, if he doesn't stop on the way back, he'll, he'll win the Chichester class. But to have him in reality 10 days ahead and you can see the conditions he's gone through. And of course, my target now is to catch him. <laughs> and well, my boat is faster. I know that. But you have to be able to sail it faster too. So yeah, that's, that's it. There are two other Australians in the race. There's Mike Smith with a replica of Sir Haley, and Matcha, who's a rustler sailor, another one of those bloody rustlers, as Dan said. So there's Tapio from Finland, who was in the last race also. He has a lovely boat, a Sparkman Stevens, 36, but I wouldn't pick it. I know some people would, it's personal, that's what makes boats, but it's long and narrow. So when you load it up with all you need for the race, all the food and the supplies you need, it will go down the water. I'd prefer a beamier boat. Austria has Michael Guggenberger. A Biscay 36 is a catch. I wouldn't go for a catch because it's a race. If it wasn't a race, maybe I would. The catches are kind of safer. Easier, maybe not safer, but easier to sail, but not faster. That's personal opinion again. Italy <clears throat> has Guido, uh, Vancouver 34. Nice boat, fast boat, but still only 34. And England has five. Ian Herbert Jones, Guy Waits and David Scott all have trade wins, 35s. Nice boats, 35, a really nice boat actually, but 35, I wouldn't have considered one. I think they're safe, very safe, tanks, but because it's a race, I personally wouldn't pick one. Ayrton, lovely gentle soul, has a rustler, so has Robin, Robin Davies, a really good sailor, serious sailor, lovely gentleman as well. So they're two rustlers, there will be serious competition. Simon Curvin, he has a really nice boat of Biscuit 36, I really like his boat actually, I looked at it. And I, I didn't buy it, but when the, my boat and his boat were tied beside each other in La Sable Salon, 
his boat is. I it went up in my estimation anyway. Francis Tree, Arnold, he's a Morris Griffiths design. Damien has a rustler, and Mark is a rustler. Damien is really well prepared. His rustler, it has a hard top on it, which I wouldn't put on because it's heavy. And in serious storms, I don't like that wind pollution. But his is sleek, but it's carrying a bit of weight. But he, he is a serious contender, a good racer, professional sailor, like, you know. Yeah. Spain has Alex in another rustler. And he is a, a really serious sailor as well, I reckon young healthy man and but himself and his wife or his partner are professional yacht designers and architects and that like you know I, i'd imagine canada has two entrants <coughs> you have edward who's polish with a rustler done in the same style as john luke same mast, same sails and everything so he will be competition you have gura gurev is an indian so the two canadian aren't Born in Canada, but they're, they're Canadian and that's, yeah, so interesting. USA has two, America, Guy de Boer in his Toshiba 36, lovely boat, and Elliot Smith. And that's, so yeah, they, they will be good boats. There's a good chance, I reckon, that a double ender will win at this time. New Zealand have Graham Dalton, famous Salem family of America's Cup fame. So he's really well prepared, I'd imagine. He's, he bought John Luke's boat, so he's sailing the, the boat that won the last race now. Fair play to him, he, he's gone Corinthian and he's keeping his powder dry and quiet. South Africa has two. It has Jeremy in the 32 foot version of my boat, which is a lovely boat. But the 36 foot and 32 foot, I think 36 is a big advantage. Then you have Kristen. I think she is one of my biggest competitors. Her boat, her Cape George 36, is a beautiful boat, really. Longer water line, longest water line in the race, actually, and a bigger rig than any of the other boats. So she has it really well prepared. So watch that space. I'd say Kristen will be one to watch. So anyway, after looking at all the other boats, I still think that mine is one of the best boats in the race. Now, it'll take more than a good boat to win the race, but it will help. The ability to find the weather is so important. There are a lot of weather facts and old-fashioned paper weather facts. So I'm looking forward to getting practicing with that next year. And next year is only a few days away, but it'll be two months, I'd say, before I get the boat back in the water and all up and running. So yeah, please subscribe and share the videos and if you know anyone that is interested in sponsoring me, I'm looking for sponsors. I wish you all a fantastic 2022. My website is www.patlawless.com P-A-T-L-A-W-L-E-S-S dot com Patlawless dot com Thanks. And I'm looking forward to it so much myself. It's my chance to, to do as good as I can in the race and I intend to. I entered it to, to do as good as I can. So yeah, peace and tea everyone. Have a fantastic 2022 and stay safe, mind your bodies. Okie dokie, take care, bye.